Hi, I'm Mike Hogan with Profiler Consulting, to bring, here to bring you another little episode on mileage logs and how to make sure you can get a deduction for the use of your vehicle. Now, with the new Trump law, it's very difficult if you're an employee to receive deductions on your personal tax return for use of your vehicle. So in that scenario, you really want to address that with your employer. If your employer shows you how to give him a record of how you incurred your mileage as an employee, then he would be allowed to reimburse you tax-free reimbursement. And that would be the best and almost only solution given the new tax law. But what I'm going to do is spend a little bit of time more for self-employed individuals. The requirement for mileage logs is pretty intense. And nowadays they do have some apps for your phones. And I'd recommend that you look at getting some of those. I know I use one on my phone. I won't mention any specific ones at this point, but just look for them. Typically they just create a GPS for you when you go anywhere that day and it shows where you went from point A to point B and all those types of trips. And then you can swipe left or right usually to say, was that a business trip or was that a personal trip? That will go a long way to help you in case you were ever to be audited and also if you want to really get an accurate picture of what's happening as far as all your vehicle driving. The one thing you need to realize is that your mileage, if you office at home, typically your mileage right from your home to anything you do would become deductible for you if it's business related. So for example, if you were to leave your home in the morning, go to Starbucks for your own little coffee and reading the paper, technically that's not deductible unless you're saying you need to go there to meet with somebody and then that would be deductible. If you left your home and you had to drop off at the local post office to drop off a thank you note or some invitations to a seminar you're going to put together, then that mileage would be deductible. But the important thing is if you ever get looked at, and again for your own record keeping, it's important that you understand that you have to show mileage from point A to point B. You also then have to explain that what was the business purpose. Just because you go from point A to point B does not mean it's deductible unless there's a business purpose for it. And then keep a good record of all of that. Now, just because you have a mileage log does not mean all of it is going to be accepted. You also need to maintain all your gas receipts, insurance records, all the actual costs of operating your vehicle. You also will have an option between taking a mileage route or what's called actual expense. And that's a whole separate little formula that we'll probably do a video on to explain. But the bottom line is that if you drive a lot of miles and don't drive a very expensive car, mileage rate is usually the easiest, simplest, and fairest to you. However, if you don't drive a lot of miles and or if you drive a very expensive car or lease a more expensive car, then actual expense is what you'd want to take. So each situation is, is unique. And so I'd recommend that you kind of review, plan ahead, and I'll add one little caveat. You can't spend extra money just to get a deduction and expect you're going to be ahead of the game. The maximum tax bracket that anybody would be in is probably 60-65%. So there's no way you can ever spend an extra 10000 and get back 6500 and feel you were ahead of the game. So it it takes away a little bit of the pain of the expense, but it's still not overall best bottom line as far as money left in the pocket after all the expenses. So hopefully that's helpful to you and thank you very much.